Hey Coco Daisy fans, I am here today to share with you my top five favorite items from the January 2020 Noted kits. Um, yeah, my top five. It was hard to narrow them down. I made a list and I had about seven and I had to cross two off. So let's get started. My first favorite item, and these are in no particular order, by the way, is the pouch. I love when Coco Daisy includes a pouch in their kits because I love, I always have planner supplies with me in my tote bag that goes to work with me and travels around with me. And I love when I have a little bag, <coughs> excuse me, I love when I have a little bag that goes with my kits. It's just so nice that it coordinates. So I'm gonna show you what all I keep in this bag. There is quite a ton of stuff. So, at the bottom, I have a couple of Sharpies. Now, why I have two, I don't know. How about if we take one out of there and just put one? Because I don't need two markers. I have two pencils. I like this black wing uh, pencil, so I keep that in there. <coughs> oh my goodness, why am I having a coughing fit all of a sudden? Um, but I also love this mechanical pencil that came with Coco Daisy kits. Ooh, when did this come? I want to say this came last year, 2019, maybe like in March or something. Did this come with the March Fresh Cuts kit? Maybe. Um, so I keep pencil, pencil, and then also this eraser um, that I bought forever ago. Those go in here. I also keep a six inch metal ruler because I use this to um, along with my X-Acto knife, I use this to roll out and cut washi, so I keep that in there. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I keep, uh, here are a couple of um, popsicle sticks that come with the rub-ons. I keep those in here. Here is the glue stick refill for the glue stick that came uh, in the kit this month. I'll give you a sneak peek. Here it is, but this is going to be another one of my items, so we'll talk about that one in a bit. Here is the Le Pen that came with the kit, and I love that, so that goes in there. Here is a black, just really fine point uh, pen. This is from Erin Condren. It goes in there. And then I keep this little package of uh, pigment liner inks. And, um, <coughs> sorry, these are black. 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, so I can do different size lines. I keep this in here. I keep this small pair of uh, embroidery scissors for fussy cutting or just if I need to snip a piece of washi or whatever. I keep tweezers. These are craft tweezers and they are so good for putting down small stickers um, that I can't with my fat fingers, I can't locate exactly very well. Tweezers are the bomb.com for that. Here's another eraser. And then I keep my collection of washi tape for the month. So I always have my Coco Daisy tapes because of course they coordinate with my kits, but then I usually pick out a few Simply Gilded tapes. These, this white um, tape with silver and gold stardust is like my favorite washi tape ever. It's getting thin and I am scared to death of when I run out because I'm gonna be very sad. I also have some white with gold bows. So these are the items that I keep in my pouch. This pouch stays in my tote bag. It goes to work with me in case I need to plan at work. It stays in my bag and then when I come home from work, it, I can have it out on the coffee table or back in the bedroom wherever I wanna do a little bit of crafting. So there is my first favorite item. Alrighty, for my second favorite items, we need to look at my memory keeping planner and inside the front cover of my personal planner. So one of my new favorite things, which didn't used to be a favorite thing, is the tags that come in the kits. And let me show you a blank one. So this is what the tag looks like when it comes. And I like to always take one of the tags and embellish it with some die cuts and a little bit of twine and then tuck it in the front cover front pocket of my planner for just some cute little decorations. So I used one here and then I used a smaller tag. Uh, this tag comes in one of the memory keeping 
I guess the pocket. I think the pop pocket memory keeping die cut set. Uh, it's a little bit smaller tag. You can see here's the large one. Um, and I also use that to uh, decorate the beginning of my memory keeping book. Um, I used to never know what to do with these tags and I saw somebody put die, like a die cut on there and I thought, okay, there you go. And I just start layering with a crazy person until I find something cute that I like. And you can see that I layer on the top and I leave it kind of open at the bottom because this is going inside the pocket and you don't see it all anyway. Um, so I don't really worry about what the bottom looks like, but just enough that I can see all the cute things out of the top. And I just like that when I open my planner, I see cute little things in my pockets. So there you go, the tags are my number two second favorite thing. All right, my third favorite thing out of the noted kits this month was the glue stick. I was like, eh, what am I gonna do with the glue stick? I have glue sticks, I don't need glue sticks. But A, I love that this the stick on this one is really small, so it's not huge. You don't, it's easy to place glue where you want it. B, I love that it has this, I don't know, it's just easy to carry. I usually have this in my pouch and when I'm done with this video, I will put it right back in there. And C, it sticks really well. Once I tried it, I was like, ooh, I'm digging this glue stick. And I'll tell you why I really loved this, particularly this month, was because of these chipboard stickers. So these come, I believe, in the pocket and maybe also... Um, traveler's notebook memory keeping kits and they are thick as you can see can you see that they're thick and I am NOT a person who likes a whole lot of bulk in my pages so I've been getting these for months and months and months and never knew what to do with them and then I saw one of Christine's videos where she used the tip of her exacto knife and she separated the top color layer from the chipboard backing and it made a thin, um, a th just a, th a thin, what do you want to call this thing, embellishment. And the glue stick, you guys, is perfect for sticking those down wherever you need them. For example, here on my memory keeping spread, um, this round sticker, or this round piece, this round piece, and this snap click report, record all came off of here. And... I did exactly what Christine did. I used my X-Acto knife and I separated the front off and then I used the glue stick to stick these down and they have not come up. They haven't, I haven't had to worry about them moving at all. And so this has been fantastic. I am really excited about this. And when I have to switch over to the refill, I'm gonna be worried because I'm gonna to wanna to know where I can get more refills because I really like this. This was such a small thing, but so awesome. That is my number three. Alrighty, time for my fourth favorite item, and it has to be this vellum from the kit this month with the silver foiling on it. First of all, I am a sucker for binder clips. I love them. Um, I love, in fact, last year, uh, in 2019, I think, maybe 18, I don't know, for a couple of months there, Coco Daisy had included some um, patterned binder clips that coordinated with their kits, uh, and I loved those, and I keep hoping they'll come back. But in the meantime, while I wait, I was really excited to see this. And I love this, um, and I typically would use it as a divider in my ring binder, but I'm not using ring binders now. So another piece of inspiration I took from Christine is I cut a piece of that, to fit in this box in my memory planner. And I use it as a little background with a couple of um, cutouts from the planner printables and a die cut. And I think it looks really cute. It just adds a little bit of pattern there, a little bit of background without being too noisy. I did it again on this side as well. And I really, really like how it looked. I think it turned out really cute. And while we're on this side, I will get ready to tell you my fifth favorite thing. Okay, so my fifth favorite thing, and this might, might actually be my like number one favorite thing if I'm ranking them, is these letters. I am in love with these tall letters. Um, they have a little bit of thickness to them. They're almost, gosh, what's the word I want to use? Not cardboard, not, they're almost like cardstock. They're thick like cardstock. And I love the font and I love the colors. 
The purple is from the Noted kit. The blue, I think I had left over from December. I, I keep these letters, I hoard them. Um, and I use them in my memory keeping book, but I also use them in my planner. Oops, I just hit my camera. So here is my monthly layout. Uh, let's find it for this month. Do, 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 do. There it is. And here's how I use the letters this month on my monthly. Last month, I used them right here to put December, and there are those, the blue ones. And I believe I also used them, yep, in November. And I think November may have been the first month that they showed up in the kits, and I have just loved them. I've also used them on some of my weekly layouts like this. I just think it adds a really awesome graphic touch. Let's see, I think I did that in December too, yep, here. And I don't think I've done that in January yet, but here tomorrow I'm leaving to go to Greensboro to visit some friends, and so that was the perfect way to fill that in. Those letters are just fantastic. I love them, they're so versatile. I am such a sucker for alphabet stickers, and I could not have been happier when I saw these. And I love that they come, if you get both memory keeping kits, they come in two colors every month. You get four sheets. And I just, like I said, I hoard, 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 hoard. I mean, I use them, but I will never throw those away because I think they're amazing. So there you go, guys. There are my top five favorite things. And I hope you have been enjoying using your noted kits. This kit has been a lot of fun. There's a lot of really cute things in here from the plants to all the pink to all the office supply stuff. It is a planner's dream. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.